Beautiful. Because that's going to be um, the real challenge. Yeah, I always said my keys are on the rise. I've got a very exciting thing coming up. I'm not going to tell you because it's a bit of a secret. See, a bit of rummage in there. You can't be cleaning off these bits here. The so steels will hopefully, fingers crossed, will go in. I see, keep saying boom, don't I? Boom! 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 Bring about the Beautiful. One sec. Just a bit low, mate. I'll see it, I'll do it. This is, um, been really impressed with this Makita hand uh, is at the back of the uh, machine. It's really well balanced, the battery goes in here, but it's, I've been really, really pleased with it so far. But obviously, I don't want to give it a review until I've actually um, used it on this massive roof because that's going to be um, the real challenge, uh, whether it stands the test of time and how long the batteries last, so it's going to be a big one. Yeah, I always said my keys are on the rise. <laughs> Right, that's what I like to see. I always like, it doesn't matter, I don't know whether you guys are the same, but everybody use the saw, I always like to put the saw back in its cover. I hate leaving saws and with that unsheet. Sheath. There's a couple of, look, you can tell there's a couple of saws around, so we're no sheaves on. Take them in case. Ooh, I've got a very exciting thing coming up. I'm not gonna tell you, because it's a bit of a secret, but I'm, uh, changing belts i mean i've had this belt a long time uh, but i'm not going to let you know it's um when i do i'm going to give my review on it this i've loved this belt since today i've had it it's been a great belt you ready kid yeah. now don't fall ho oh, ho ho boom <laughs> there you go mate lovely jabbly that's what i mean full snores isn't it I tell you what, am I, am I going to be Dal and you're going to be Rodney? Or am I going to be Rodney and you're going to be Dal? <laughs> See, or are you going to be Trigger? I don't know what that is. You don't, are. You've not watched Only Fools and Horses. Cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. I cannot believe. Honestly, can you believe he's not watched Only Fools and Horses? He just hasn't lived this lad, I tell you. He's got a very eclectic music taste though, haven't you, Will? Yeah, I do. We'll have to get your playlist going okay. later, come on. Sounds good to me. That's your mission today, Will. What is Only Fools and Horses? Tonight, you've got to watch one episode of Only Fools and Horses. What is it about Love Island? Love Island? Yeah. It's a pretty serious show, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, forget your Only Fools and Horses. Watch <laughs> Love Island. <laughs> uh, ah, here we go, look. That's what I was after, Will. See, bit of rummage in there. These are the best drills ever, Will, these are. These are beautiful, don't like those. Don't like this? No, I got that really, really cheap. That's the only reason I bought it. They were like kind of virtually giving it away. They did really, they like 50 quid it cost me, but uh, don't like it at all, don't ever use it. But this are so well balanced, they're just beautiful. I think this is probably the best cordless on the market. Better than like the Makita rattlers. Yeah, Makita DeWalt's all of them. The other thing is I don't like rattlers that make a lot of noise. Don't like that. Don't need it. I just these are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm getting this ready for the first big steel coming through. I've checked underneath, there's no cables. Now, the reason we're taking out this, guys, is because um, the back of the steel has to come to the back of where the actual wall plate's gonna be. Got a nice brick wall here, and obviously then the rest of the, uh, the steel can go on there. Now, the one thing that's really important when you're cleaning down lath and plaster, you can't be cleaning off these bits here. 
Now I've seen it so many times when people have been cleaning out lath and plaster ceilings, they end up scraping all these just so it goes flush. And you can't do that because you can imagine the plaster ceiling that's there, those are the keys because in between each of this lath is about anything from about five to six mil. Um, and it needs the, the lime plaster used to then go in those gaps and produces like hooks like that. So it stays, so whatever you do, whenever you clean it out, just make sure you don't take them out. I'm gonna check the length of that steel uh, with what we've got here. It should, I remember giving it a decent bearing, but I'm just gonna double check. That's 1550, so 5150. 1550, that's it. Where's 5, 150, and then 15, 15, that's zero. That's 5, 6, 7, 6, 7. Look at that, 6, 7, look at that, that's not bad, is it? There you go. So literally, I'm just gonna cut it a little bit here. Just give myself a bit more, so I'm glad I just checked. So what we've done today is we've taken out all the relevant ply which is going to get in the way of our steels going in and then obviously then getting our timbers then on top of the steels. You can see all the way through that wall plate line there what we're going to do is offset the steel to the side and then run it through because obviously all this is going to do is allow the trusses to sit on and have a really good connection. We've got a really good bearing over here, we've got a cracking bearing over here. So we'll have one small baby steel on here. At this point here through here, we'll then have another baby steel over here. Will's doing an awesome job with um, Igor cleaning it all out because there's one thing I do love to do is always love to make sure it's nice and tidy as we're working. So they're clearing out that section over there. We'll then put the massive steel in which is about 300 kilos but between five of us and we've got the dollies in there as well we had to wheel it across and then we're going to cut the binders in between because they're well supported now underneath and then what we're then going to do is then cut that through and the steel is then going to go through this section here through this section here and I've been able to clear that and get a really good bearing on there. So that will be the mission tomorrow, is to get all of the steels in tomorrow because uh, today we've had a really good day. We've cleared all this out, we've cleared the other side, we've picked up the material that we need. We've got all the timber that we need to do the job tomorrow. So as planned, on schedule, the steels will hopefully, fingers crossed, will go in and then get all the timbers on. Telehandle arrives tomorrow and then trusses on Monday and then we can get all the trusses in Will. Boom. I see keep saying boom, don't I? Boom. 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 Bring up out of bomb. Hey you beautiful people, another beautiful day. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time you upload a video you'll be notified. So have an awesome week. See you soon guys on the next vlog.